Hi there. So today we're going to show you how you can create this custom wedding seating charts or event seating chart using nothing but Microsoft Word and a browser. Before we get started, I do want to point out that I have a YouTube channel, Printables with Microsoft Word, uh, and there's two notable videos on here, although I do have a myriad of videos, everything from creating chalkboard posters to creating wedding programs. Uh, I have a video here calling how to turn a Microsoft Word doc into a poster at Office Max or Costco. Uh, so if you did want to make this into poster size for your event, uh, you can watch this video after you create the seating chart. And the other notable video I want to show is searching fonts, installing fonts, and using symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video. I am using quite a bit of unique fonts as well as some unique symbols. Uh, if you are so inclined to subscribe to my channel and or like any and all of my videos. Also, if you find a advertisement that's useful and you want to learn more about it, um, if you want to go ahead and click on that, I would be ever so grateful. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go to File, New, Blank Document. So we all kind of start from the same place. I then want to go to Page Layout up here on the tabs. I want to go into Margins and I want to click on Narrow. That just gives us a little bit more real estate to work with. All right, next thing we want to do is we want to insert, and again, you go up here on the river to insert, and you go to text box, and you go to draw a text box. And we want to draw it all the way across the top here. And what we want to do is we want to move this so it's in the center, okay? Um, and again, you could see that green line there. And then we want to type in welcome. Now, we see here we have the text box and we have a, a um, black box around the text box. We clearly don't want that. So we want to ensure that the box is selected and we see these little white um, squares around there so we know the object is selected. And we want to click on shape outline of no outline and shape fill of no fill. Um, you know, you could fill it with white, it doesn't really matter because it's a white background, um, but it's just good measure to do that, okay? Next thing we want to do is we want to go to the home and we want to change the font. And the font I used for this is called Paris Match Regular. Again, if you don't have this, this isn't a default font, so you're going to have to go ahead and watch that video on how to install and download new fonts and do a search for Paris Match Regular and download and install that font. It should be free. Next thing we want to do is we want to click on, we want to highlight the word once we type in welcome. We want to click on format and we want to go to text effects. We want to go to transform and we want to go to square. Okay, and that's going to make the word fill up that entire text box, which is what we want. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to insert another text box and we're going to draw that text box and just right underneath this welcome. We're going to go ahead and again align that in the center. Please find your table. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and go to home. Again, click on the home tab. So ensure everything's selected. Click on the home tab. We want to center this. Okay. We want to go down to the fonts. And the font I used for this is called Great Vibes. Again, you'll need to download and install that font. Um, that is not a default font. And we want to make this a 36 point font. Okay, now again, that, that icky text box is there. So we want to click on format. We want to ensure that object is selected, the text box selected. We want to click on format. We want to do a shape outline of no outline, a shape fill of no fill. Okay. Uh, next thing we want to do is create those table numbers. So we want to go ahead and again insert a text box. And we want to go ahead and draw a text box. And we want to just go here and we want to align this to the left. Okay, and again, you can use those that that green align, um, that green al align um, line down the left hand side to ensure they're all going to be aligned. We're going to go ahead and type in table one, and then we type in some names. Um, I think I did John Smith. I did Sue Smith. I did Joe Smoo. Amelia Smoo. Um, Matt Gar. Field, Julie Garfield, Brad Blue, Tom Blue, Sam Okay. 
now we have this. Uh, a couple things we want to do this. First thing is we want to, um, the spacing is a little off. We want them much closer together because we have a lot of names. So we want to highlight this box. We want to highlight all the words in the box. We want to click on the home button and we want to go over here to the line and paragraph spacing and we want to go to line spacing options. What we want to do is ensure this is set to zero point and single spaced. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to change the fonts. And what we did is I used uh, something called copper plates. I do not know if this is default. It might be default, um, but if not, you may have to go ahead and down download and install this font. Uh, copper plate, Gothic. And then we want to highlight this table one and we want to make this a 16 point font and we want to bold that. We want to highlight all this and we want to go ahead and center that. Let me go ahead and move this over and uh, we have our first table. Then what you want to do is again highlight this. Again we have that ugly text box around it so highlight that, click on format, do a shape outline of no outline, a shape fill of no fill. And then from here what we can do is we can very easily just click on this and again we know this object is selected because we have these boxes around it. We want to right click, we want to do a copy, we want to click outside of that text box so the, the little squares up here or the little uh, cursors up there. Oopsies. And then we want to right click and we want to do a paste and we want to say keep source formatting and then we can just move this and then we can do a paste and then we can just move this down here and then we can do a paste and again you can see these align options so you know that they're all aligned and I'll show you how you can align um, these a little bit later. Let's do a paste and let's do a paste. Okay, now obviously we're going to want to change all the names. I'm not going to change the names because that will take um, far too long. And I don't have that much of an imagination to come up with that many names. <laughs> Four, and let's go ahead and do five, six, and seven. Okay. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and ensure and what I'm doing, if you want to move um, these text boxes in a fine grain manner, you can obviously select this and move it with your mouse, uh, but you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard in order to align it in a much more sort of fine grain um, fine grain manner. Okay. Uh, now ensure that we have table one and table two aligned with table five and table six. What you want to do is you want to do an insert a shape and you want to select the line tool, okay? Then what you want to do is you want to line it up right under the one, hold down the shift key and bring it across and then let go, okay? Then all you have to do is move this uh, box down below, okay? Um, and then you want to just take this line, again, you know it's selected because the two little white boxes, you want to move it down to here and then you want to go ahead and align this. There we go. And then after you've done that, you can just go ahead and delete that. All right. Now we want to come up with this centerpiece. Okay. So what I want to do is once again, I want to insert and I want to insert a text box and I want to draw a text box. And I want to go right here. And what I want to do again is do the format shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline. And then I want to go ahead and click on insert and I want to insert. And if you saw that symbol was grayed out, that's because I need to click on here to ensure the cursor is in there. I want to in insert a symbol. I want to go to more symbols. And this is just a font, okay? The symbols are just fonts. So you want to go ahead and download uh, you do a search and download and install flower ornaments font and then when you insert the symbol you should have that font there and it was this final um, font that I went and you can either double click or you can click insert doesn't matter I put two in there so let's just go ahead and put one and what I want to do is once again I want to highlight this 
I want to go to Format, and again I highlighted the font, go to Format, you go to Text Effects, you go to Transform, and once again you do the square. Okay. Now just for editing purposes, if you don't like that blue line there, again it's a font, so the grammar is going to kind of kick in and say, hey, this isn't, uh, this isn't okay. What you want to do is you want to ensure it's smaller, you want to left click, and you can unclick or you can click on ignore and then the blue line will be gone. Again, when it prints, that blue line won't be there. All right, now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and click on this text box, and again, we know the text box is selected because of these um, little squares around it. We want to go ahead and do a copy, and then right click and left click and do a paste. Okay, and let's bring this one down here. But what we want to do with this is we want to go up here, so you see this little circle arrow? Uh, we want to go ahead and move this so this is upside down, okay? And again, if we wanted to, and that um, is that blue line is bothering you, you can click on ignore once. And then from here, all we have to do is, as you could guess, do an insert, insert a text box, draw the text box, and we want to say Tracy. And we want to click on Format, do a shape fill of no fill, a shape outline of no outline. This should be pretty regular for you now. Uh, we want to go to the home. And again, we used Great Vibes. And once again, we want to go to Format. We want to go to Text Effects. We want to go to Transform. And we want to make that a square. And you can play with this and make this as big or as small as you want. And then from here, we can just right click, do a copy, click outside, ensure the cursor is up here, uh, and just go ahead and do a paste. We can move this down here, and we could write Matthew. And we could make this a little bit smaller, and we could move this up, and we could make this a little bit smaller, and we could center this. We could center this. And then all we need is that final and presumed where we do an insert text box, draw a text box right in there. And let's do that and percent. And again, do a shape fill of no fill, shape outline of no outline because we don't want that text box. Highlight that and percent and go ahead and do the great vibes. And once again, click on format text effects, transform, square. And we can move that right there. And that is how you can create the table seating chart. And again, if you wanted to blow this up and make this into a bigger poster, uh, you could absolutely do that. The larger posters, I think it's the 20 by 30, if I'm not mistaken, um, sometimes those don't, those don't print as well as some of the smaller signs. Um, what you want to do, though, uh, in order, what we want to do, I think, I'm not sure if I covered that in that second video, is you want to go ahead and save this um, or you can export this. So when you export it, you want to export it as a PDF. So again, what I did is I went to File, you want to go to Export and you do Create PDF and then we can call this Seating Chart. And we want to go ahead and put this in videos. And once it's in the PDF version, here we go. That is what you can use at Costco and or at Office Max in order to get that printed. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. Again, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and or um, watch more of my videos. And again, if you find a advertisements that useful. If you would click on it, that would be fantastic. Uh, thanks so much. And I do monitor the chat lines if you have any questions. Thank you.